Hello people, I am your weird biker and this is Gokarna. Welcome back to the channel. If you have followed this series, then you might have already guessed that this would be the last episode of Karnataka Coastal Expedition. And we are ending the series here in Gokarna. Let me take you to the start and show you a quick recap. We started from Bangalore and stayed in Chikmagaluru. Then reached Dupi crossing through the Western Ghats via Mangalore. And with a stop at the world's second largest Shiva statue in Murdeshwar. We are at our last location Gokarna. And for the next three days, we are exploring amazing places around Gokarna. Let's start. Last night, we met a group of college students. They were visiting Yana Rocks the next morning. So we decided to tag along. Yana is about 45 kilometers from Gokarna and we should reach within an hour. We have to take the highway towards Kumta and then the routes diverge between Gokarna and Kumta towards Sersi. The route goes through the lush green western guards. So these are two guys of five who are with us. Other two scooties are behind. And after a few kilometers on Sirsi Road, we have to take a diversion towards Yana, which goes through a reserve forest. This is forest area, full forest area. This is forest covered in blue green. We are almost there, 10 kilometers. I think we are here. We go down here. Once you reach the parking, take the entry ticket and start your trek towards the rock. The trail is maintained by the forest guards and is filled with small waterfalls with different species of flora and fauna. You get tree shades almost throughout the route. The total trek is about 2 kilometers and the last 500 meters stretch are steep stairs. So, Yana Caves is visible now. Udhar, the rock is pura. I think we are almost there. Bahut zyada stairs hai. You can find multiple paintings on the wall from the past. The entrance to the rock cave goes through this temple. Once you reach inside the cave, you wonder how this place even exists in the middle of a dense forest with no mountains nearby. The huge rocks are composed of solid black crystalline limestone and go to about 120 meters in height. You have to take a complete round around the cave then come back to the temple. After returning from Yana, next on the list is Mirchand Fort which is on our way and is just 500 meters from the main height. The whole fort is covered in grass and was built in 16th century as a first line of defense to protect Kumta town and the Kumta fort located to its south. Now we are back in Kokarna and this is the main beach with the most number of tourists. As we move north, the beach becomes cleaner, green in color with fewer people. After which it meets with the middle beach and this is the same place where we are staying. In the evening, these are filled with tourists doing a lot of different activities. And here is one of our other rider, Deepak. With that, ending the day with an amazing sunset. The next morning, we woke up early than usual and reached Om Beach. From here, we are going on the famous Om to Paradise Beach trek by the half moon. I find Om Beach the most beautiful and calm and we have reached the end of the beach. The whole beach is visible in its famous Om shape and the trek starts here. Half moon, paradise. Hi! Come on, trek us go with One can find multiple shacks on the way. After a few hundred meters, the trail entered a dense forest with a rock cliff on one end. My favorite view is just a yeah. dead drop. We are going down the cliff. So we are at the cliff. Stop! Yeah. From home beach, we cross this whole forest area to reach the cliff. Again, we are back in the forest. We are on the Half Moon Beach. Woo! 
The beach gets its name due to its resemblance to the shape of a half moon and is famous for its sparkling sand and clear blue water. We covered this 1.6 km stretch in 45 minutes with one more km to go. आसान रास्ते पे नहीं जाना ना तुम लोगों को इधर कोई बीच नहीं आएगा सब रॉक्स हैं फाइडिंग थ्रू द रॉक्स वी मेड इट टू द हेल्थ क्लियर दिस पार्ट ऑफ द रूट कुड बी अ लिटिल रफ फॉर बिगनर्स एंड यू गेट द फर्स्ट व्यू ऑफ स्मॉल हेल एल पैराडाइज बीच एज यू मूव अड दैट इज पैराडाइज बीच Almost there. Cliff वाला पार्ट खत्म हो गया After crossing small hill beach and a rocky path, we finally made it to the famous paradise. Beach is covered with cliffs on all the sides and only accessible through boat or trek, which make it secluded and a perfect weekend getaway to find some peace away from city. One and a half hour में हमने ये पूरा complete कर लिया. काफी chill scenes हैं यहाँ पे. एक रास्ता उधर से भी आता है. इफ रिक्वायर्ड कैंपिंग भी हो सकती है ऊपर खाना मिलता है और नीचे स्नैक्स मिलते हैं और ये है हमारी वापस की राइड अब 10 मिनट में हम लोग वापस पहुँच जाएंगे The boat ride cost us 100 per person and 10 minute versus free and adventurous 90 minutes on land through the jungle. I recommend this trek at least once to everyone who ever is visiting Gokarna. Soon we docked our boat on the home beach and started to head towards the hostel. On the way back to the Gokarna town, you get this amazing view of Kudle beach. Tucked between the ghats on both sides, Kudle Beach is famous for its sunset views as it is face west. Unlike Om, Half Moon, and Paradise, flanked by coconut trees, Kudle Beach is a wonderful retreat for backpackers who are searching for peace and is one of the most beautiful tourist places that you'll ever come across in Gokarna. Just like that, this amazing trip comes to an end. We hopped from one shack to another and celebrated with everyone around to this trip's end, and then head back towards. Oh. Do hit like and comment if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button; it helps me grow. And press the bell icon to get the latest video updates.